disappeared. There are two aspects to this case, the search for Summer and the investigation into how she disappeared. Part of that investigation has involved looking into the family. As we reported earlier this week, Summer's father, Donald Wells, was arrested last year for domestic assault. News Channel 11's Amy Cochran has been looking into Wells' criminal past and found he has also previously faced charges in other states. Josh and Sarah, I spent the day looking into Donald Wells' previous charges in Utah, Arkansas, and Tennessee. The Arkansas charges include possession of controlled counterfeit substances without a prescription and burglary. Those charges occurred between 2006 and 2007. In Utah, Wells faced multiple charges from 1990 to 2001. He pled guilty to attempted aggravated assault, interfering with a public servant, forgery, burglary of a dwelling, and theft. When we asked Wills earlier this week if he would like to address his criminal history, he said, quote, it's in the past and we'll leave it there, end quote. We also asked Wills about charges in Hawkins County. According to police reports, Wills was arrested in October 2020 and charged with domestic assault, possession of a handgun while under the influence, and unlawful possession of a weapon, following an incident with Summer's mother. We worked it out. She's apologized to me. She's went to the district attorneys. She even talked to the judge and told him that she made a serious mistake. And, uh, and you know, and that's the end of it. This past April, Wells pled guilty to possession of a handgun while under the influence. The other charges were dismissed. Josh and Sarah. Amy, thanks. And we want to point out here that TBI says the Wells family has been very cooperative with investigators throughout their search efforts. Friends of the family tell us they're doing their best to keep their spirits up on day nine. So you see, it's going to come out. Just like Jeff was trying to tell him, you might as well tell me. <laughs> it doesn't get any easier. It comes with the territory. So the best thing we can do is continue to dig because his background, his lifestyle, his person might have something to do with where this baby girl is. It's all relevant. And we're doing it as nice as we possibly can. But I don't know how nicely you can say, you know, he was charged with attempted aggravated assault. We're looking at it right there. Forgery, burglary. I can't say that nicely. And I didn't do it. <laughs> so don't be mad at the messenger. I've said this before. Just get the message. Whatever that message is for you. If you want to still believe, you know what, I think he turned his life around, then believe that. If you want to realize that it was only eight months ago, then believe that. But he's going to get picked apart. It's just the way it goes. Okay, okay. One more. One more. Real quick. This morning, tips continue to come in on the Summer Wells Amber Alert case. News Channel 5's Nick Barris is in the Five Alert Center. Nick, the big question is, after nine days, mm -hmm. have, has that led to any new leads? You know, uh, Amy, the TBI now says that they have received more than 300 tips over more than a week, and uh, none of them, not a single one yet, has panned out as being credible. The search, of course, does continue. It did overnight, and again this morning, there are now more than 80 agencies from Tennessee, Ohio, Virginia, Alabama, Georgia, and North Carolina, all searching nearly a six square mile area around the home where Summer disappeared in Hawkins County, Tennessee. That was last Tuesday. Now, authorities have tried everything, searching from the ground and air using canine units, conducting roadblocks, and even asking the public to search their properties. Now, I can tell you that they have found no traces of Summer, and more of the focus, my understanding, is turning toward the possibility of foul play as opposed to her may be wandering off into the woods there. They hope for more tips, we should say, and they may come, especially now that the reward for information is topping, Amy, $50,000. That's just incredible. We do hope it helps. And, Nick, I know you're going to be heading to the scene in East Tennessee a little bit later today in Sky 5. Yeah, that's right. We'll be heading out on Sky 5. I've learned that there are potentially some new developments, even new strategies that will be deployed starting today by the TBI and other investigators. We also hope to get some fresh aerial video 
of the scene, the ongoing search effort there. And we'll have these exclusive stories coming up tonight at News Channel 5 at 4, 5, and 6. Send it back to you in the studio.